Run away! He's seen us. How? Oh. Oh, we're supposed... I guess we're supposed to be here. Fine! Welcome Reaper Mini fans! Today we have a small unit of werewolves to paint. First of all I'm going to be mounting these onto a 32mm base boss base. So I'll use some super glue for that. And then I shall, I shall add some gravel around the base and let them dry. And then I'll make sure I'll add a nice primer and we'll come back and I'll show you how fast and simple these are to make into a fantastic tabletop miniature. Okay, so we've got a fantastic little primer coat going. I have added some rocks to the base and I have the primer coat I used today was grey and it's beautiful. So there we are, this is uh, the miniature so far with its primed and the base all nicely graveled up. So what we're going to do now as it's got a lot of fur and as I always tell you in all my videos, we get the dry brushing done first. So if we make a mess on the rest of the miniature, it does not matter. Now today for the dry brushing, I am going directly into some Dragon White. So we'll go into the Dragon White, take it off on our tissue, and we're just going straight over all the fur areas on this miniature. And this will get all the fur popping all over our mini. Super simple. And like I say, because we're doing this first, it doesn't matter if we make a mess on the rest of the miniature because we're going to be painting over the rest anyway. Let's pick it up a little bit, get this camera in shot, take it back. There we go, now we can see what we're doing. On the chest there. Just going all over where the fur areas are on the miniature. Just like so. And I'll do that to the rest of the miniatures and we'll come back for the next stage. So we've got all the dry brushing done on all these lovely wheels. What I'm going to do now is I am going to go straight into my black ink wash. You can use MSP black or you can use any black ink wash that you desire. I use this one because it comes in a bigger tub and that's the only reason. Um, I will be putting the black on from head to toe including the base. So the whole miniature gets a black ink wash and this will bring out all the shadows and I want to get the base dry brushed as well. So this is great to also bring out the shadows on that base. So I'll come back once I've added all this black ink wash and I'll show you what we do from there. Here's a small tip for you. Once you've added your black ink wash, um, leave your miniatures for about two or three minutes and then come back to the miniatures and what you do is just have a look around your miniatures and check for pooling on your minis because what happens is as the uh, as the ink uh, goes into all the recesses it, it can start pooling in certain places on your miniatures so what I do I just get a dry brush and there we are there's one there see on his hand the ink has gone into the recesses of his hand and started pooling so what we do is just bing, off it goes and we just take off that excess before it dries and that way you'll get you're not losing the detail and having that pooling so on certain parts of the miniature we just check for the ink there's another one here it seems to be on this miniature the hand likes to take the ink so what we do we just take a bit off with our dry brush and take it off on a tissue and that stops all those pooling because that's very important because once it's dry you can't really remove it so there we are. Just a couple of miniatures had a bit of pooling on. I've removed the pooling 
and now I can let this this dry and we can come back to our painting so I'll come back once these are dry okay so our ink wash is all dry what I'm going to do now is highlight the skin of the werewolf now I've got some alien flesh I'm trying to keep this werewolf nice and gray and dark so I'm just going to highlight the high, highest areas on the skin with the alien flesh very simple to do around the eyes and cheekbones along the ears chest muscles and all these muscles along here and we do this to all our wheels on the bum as this paint dries it will blend in nicely with the color that's already on there so we just go over all these areas where the skin is showing like so and the fingers and got the knuckles there this side of the face on the ear top of the eye cheekbone maybe a little bit on that nose there like so a bit more there like this here so we're just going around the miniature picking off the areas which is just the flesh and we're going to the highest point of the miniature so. okay perfect once that's dry I will come back and then we'll go back over the dry brushing with the fur and then all we need to do is the tongue and the teeth and finish off that base. For the claws and the tongue, I'm gonna be using punk rock pink. Punk rock pink. And I'm gonna use some dragon black. And the dragon black, I'm gonna be doing all the claws and I will finish off the rim of the base and get that all nice and black and tidied up. So I'll come back once I've got those bits done. So that's all of my skin tones done. I've added the tongue, I've added a little bit of black for the nose, and the claws have all been painted in black. I've, I've dry brushed the base with a little bit of skeleton bone. Now what I'm going to do now is on this area here, on the flat area of the miniature, I'm going to put some PVA glue and add some grass effects. Now the grass effects I use are from Army Painter and it's a mid-range color autumn effect and it's a very very nice texture for adding to your bases um, so I will be adding that to all my bases using the PVA glue and then lastly all I need to do is add in the eyes and the eyes are simple enough they're just white with a little bit of black in the middle so I'll come back when it's all finished Okay, so now we're down to our final thing to make this miniature stand out even more. What I'm going to be doing is I've got some Army Painter Soft Toad Ink Wash. And I'm going to put that over all the fur areas. And then I'm going to call the miniature finished. So I'll come back and show you the finished miniature. There we are. So this is the finished miniature. As you can see, all the grass is done. I've added that uh, brown ink wash by Army Painter. It's a very light ink wash, but it has just worked perfectly to enhance that fur. I've added the eyes and the little nose. Um, absolutely fantastic. Beautiful miniature. One of my favourites. I love werewolves. Um, this is a super miniature for your tabletop games. And there we are. As you can see, because we painted white at the beginning remember we did that dry brushing of the white 
that's coming through now on the back of the fur so it's given really high def on that fur it looks fantastic so that's why we do that at the beginning to let the ink wash sink to the bottom and then that white is powerful enough to come through but you're still getting a nice shade of ink but you're also getting the all the details coming through as well so there we are this is the werewolf by reaper miniatures if you enjoy what i'm doing then please hit that sub button if you want to support the channel then please become my patron uh, once you become my patron you can join my discord channel and on my discord channel we have loads and loads and loads of goblins all talking about miniatures and sharing their work and having just a great time so for as little as one pound one pound one dollar a month on my patron you can join up and you can chat with me and talk miniatures and with all my other goblins on the discord channel so there we are until next time